How's it going, guys? I just got finished watching Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Um, overall, I really liked it better than the first part. Um, I think that's mainly because of pacing. Like, it was paced way more consistently, so there weren't scenes where I was like, okay, when's the next scene coming? Or, or, when, or just think about how long the scene's been going on. And, like, overall, like, I think it's an equally long movie as part one. Actually, no, it's like half an hour shorter, so that maybe that's why, but... There was never a moment where I was just, like, looking at my watch, like, just wondering how long this has been going on or whatever. It's very well paced. Granted, a huge part of it is, like, different scenes, but all during the Battle of Hogwarts, so maybe that has something to do with it, but... I overall I did really like this. Everything came to a nice satisfying conclusion. Every like really in like both parts of this, um everyone gets a chance to shine and be a badass. Not only just the main characters, but the more secondary characters. Dobby gets to be a badass, McGonagall gets to be a badass, freaking Neville Longbottom gets to be a badass. Like and, like, just overall, it's really, really fun. Um, I really like the approach to the magic fights in this. There's almost an elegance to it. Almost like a sword fighting or a fencing type of quality to it. Um, like, and the effects are just really good, as always. Um, like... I don't know how they did the destroyed Hogwarts. I don't know if they used CG or um, a set. But if it was CG, it didn't look like CG. Like, admittedly, some of the other CG in this. Um, but, yeah. Overall, this is really good. A really satisfying conclusion to the Harry Potter movies. Um, I heard that a lot of people had issues with that epilogue. I can see why, because it's not necessarily what you want for our heroes. You want to see more stuff with our heroes involved. You know, want to see more of their shenanigans, more of their adventures. But at the end of the day, I do enjoy it because all it means that is that even if they're not being lived and explored by our main characters that we've known there's still way more adventures to be had at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. And that's just... I never have issues with epilogues like that if they're done well. And this one certainly was. I mean, so... Especially since we're not really told, at least in the movie anyway, what Hermione, Ron, and um, Harry's jobs are. So you're left to fill in those blanks with whatever the hell you want. Um, so, um, and I just, like, really, like, the stuff with Voldemort was handled very well, um, the Horcruxes stuff is a bit odd, only because, like, some of them were spaced out between the prior movies, and then it's, like, the other, like, four, or whatever it was, were just destroyed for almost all in one movie. So, but beyond that, like, it was great. So, those are my thoughts on Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Um, and I will be making an another separate video about a retrospective of all, on my experience watching all eight movies. Alright, so until then, see you guys.